as 1 to 1. Today we'll be looking at functions. We'll be looking at the definition of a function and some examples of function. What is function? Function is a rule of combination of two sets. It is a process or a relation that associates each element x of a set x, the domain of the function to a single element y of another set y, the core domain of the function. This may sound ambiguous to you, but let's look at it in this way. Let's say you're given a set x and another set y. And of course, every set must have its elements. So let's give each of these sets their elements. Let's say set X has elements A, B, and C. And set Y has elements D, E, and F. Now, when you assign to an element X, a given element Y is actually what we call function. For instance, let's say set A is assigned an element set in set Y, E. And set B is assigned an element in set Y, D. The rule that combines these two elements together is actually what we call function. For instance, F of X. That is what function is all about. It's not so difficult to understand now let's be looking at examples of functions yeah functions have so many examples but then we just have like eight written here number one is constant function a constant function is represented by the expression y equals k when you have something like this we call it constant function where, where k is a constant for example, you can have k to be 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. It should just be a single number and nothing attached to it. The graph is usually a straight line parallel to the x-axis. Number 2 here is the linear function. The linear function is usually given by y equals ax plus b. Just like how our linear equations are, where a and b here are constant, x is a variable, y is depending on the variable x to get its own value. This is what we call a linear function. Number 3 here is quadratic function, just like our quadratic equation. A quadratic function is usually represented by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c where our a b and c are constant yeah they are usually a given value then number four is where we have the polynomials any equation any function where the power of the variable x is more than two for instance we have like x raised to power three x raised to power four and so on keeps going and keeps going that's where polynomial function comes in for example it's usually giving us y equals a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d this is exactly how a polynomial function look like then we look at the exponential function which is our number five here the exponential function is usually defined by this the exponent value is usually there all cases it's like a component from the word exponential we have exponents in it so the exponential function is usually given like this whenever you see a function that has this exponent it's called the exponential function and then number six here we have the logarithmic function the logarithmic function is usually defined by this we have y of x equals log f of x a now f of x can mean can be given any can be assigned any value so that is why we have it but it must be what as a function of x so this is how the logarithmic function looks like number seven here is the trigonometric function 
Functions of the trigonometric ratios of angles such as their quotient and reciprocal constitute the trigonometric function like our sine x, we have the sine x, we have our cos x and tan x. We also have their sine inverse which is also their reciprocals which could be sine inverse of x cos inverse of x and tan inverse of x yes yes they also have their own expression like the sine inverse of x is usually written as when you have to write it in form of complex numbers we have it this way and so on and so forth then lastly, we have the hyperbolic function. Here, the hyperbolic function is in a way similar to the trigonometric function, but they sure have their differences. Like the hyperbolic function, instead of we having sine x, it is called shine x. Yes, there's new letter introduced in it, which is the h, to make it shine. Y cos is pronounced as cosh, then we have our tan and their inverses so on and so forth we also have the cut the sect and the rest so this is where we'll be stopping for today thank you so much